What is going on guys and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. If you guys caught up with us in our last video, we got our hands on a 588 gig card for under $250. Super exciting. Can't wait to get it in place. But today we're going to go ahead and talk about these guys. So we have one, two, three, four, five Sapphire Nitro RX 470 4 gig cards. We then have this guy, which is a Sapphire Nitro RX 570 4 gig card. So a little bit different here, a little additional power needed um, uh, here, two six pins. Uh, the design is a little bit different. In a previous video, we showed how the 470 is actually a little bit smaller than the 570 in length, as well as thickness that you guys can see. But let's go ahead and take a look up here on our screen. So we have 470, there's our 570 and then the additional 470s here. So if we take a look down here, this is what, number two? We take a look down here, or well, actually it's GPU one, which is actually the second one there. It's running 13.71 uh, at the current setup there uh, with that. And then we jump down here, 13.71. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer. I wanna go ahead and talk about the difference between the 470 and the 570 when it comes down to mining and why I am recommending you go with a 470 nine out of 10 times if you can get your hands on it. Alrighty guys, we have jumped onto the computer and let's go ahead and talk about these cards. So the first card we're gonna talk about here is the Sapphire Nitro Radeon RX 470. This is the four gig card. Uh, this one directly has the BIOS mod uh, switch on it to swap between your gaming and your mining um, BIOS. This is a phenomenal feature, and these cards, really the Sapphire Nitros here, were really built for miners at the end of the day, um, talking about it here in 2021. So, taking a look here, our core clock speed is 1140, and our boost clock is 1236. So, if we go ahead down here and take a look at some of our specs that we do have available, those are reflecting here 1140 at boosting out at 1236. Uh, which goes ahead and gives us some good information on this card. Swapping over to the 570, which is uh, this card, which you have here, which is the four gig. So this one is a little bit different here. Uh, if we jump down, our boost clock is 1340 um, for this here. And you can see our effective memory timing is 1750 at 7,000 megahertz. If we jump back here and look at that, this one's 1750. So very, very similar. Uh, back and forth between the two of these cards. Very, very similar numbers. A little less boost on the 470 versus jumping over on the 570s, 1340. But at the end of the day, our effective memory clock is the 1750. So these cards are super close at the end of the day. Super, super close. So let's talk about them more from the perspective of cost. So I'm just going to give you my background with these cards. So I bought a month ago the RX 470, six of these for $100 a pop. The miner that was selling these was originally selling these for 120. I was able to go ahead and negotiate them down to 100. Now, jump ahead about a month, maybe six weeks. My, I just purchased one today for 200. So $200 there. Let's talk about the 570 though. So the 570, I actually just bought not too long ago for $250. Now, granted, GPUs are becoming harder and harder to find, especially these four gig cards, especially the Sapphire Nitros. So we're talking about, let's say roughly, we're talking about $100. Let's say, let's break it. Let's get a little lower. Let's say $75, okay? $75 difference. It's going to fluctuate depending on who you bought it from and when you bought it and all that fun stuff. So let's say there's a $75 difference between these cards in the current market. So let's go ahead and jump over to our current miner. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this here. And let's talk about our current miner running these both. So we have the 470. Um, and it does have the Hynix memory in it versus the Elpidia memory in it. So from the 470 to the 570 different memory there. Now, taking a look at some of our hash rate. So traditionally, I am finding that the 570 gets a little bit better, like 0.10 in this in this example. We'll refresh again before the end of this video um, to take a closer look at it. And 
The biggest one I want to go ahead and look up is our overclock settings. So let's take a look at this. These, these are stable overclock settings that have worked for me. Based off of Silicon Lottery, everybody is different. Every, all the GPUs are different. But let's take a look here. So card zero or one, let's say in this example, is our Radeon 470. We're running at 1100 core clock, okay? And then our memory clock is 1870. I've been messing with this a little bit. I have run it at 1950. I have run it at 2000, uh, but I've been focusing a lot on wattage, um, trying to keep my performance high with my mega hash, but keep my uh, wattage as low as I can. But I've wanted to keep, my goal is to keep my entire rig right here at 80 total mega hash or higher. So that's been my baseline. So that's my 470 running at core voltage at 900. Now the 570, is the next card, 1100. So same core clocks. And the memory clock though is at 2000. In addition to that, I've had to give this card a little bit more voltage at 925 in order to keep it stable and to make sure that we're not getting any issues with invalid shares. So taking, and but what I have found though is take a look at my fan. My fan is down to 30%. GPU fan usage. So this card, the 570 runs cooler than the 470s, but requires more power in order for me to get it at the current hash rate that I'm at. So let's go ahead and refresh this here just to make sure we're completely up to date based off of our current conversation. Come on, refresh faster. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So taking a look here, it's at 1388. But this other 470 is at 1310. But look at this other ones at 14. So they're all very similar within less than one total mega hash. Okay. Not even, not even like almost half a mega hash. Okay. So it's running significantly cooler, the 570. I have to give it more power. So as you can see, it's running at 121 watts. That's a pretty decent difference. We're talking about I'm putting out 20 additional watts for the 570 just to mine around the same mega hash as my 470s. So in conclusion, I feel like I'm doing a presentation here. In conclusion, guys, I would recommend nine out of 10 times if you can get your hands on the RX 470 and also your hands on the RX 570, go with the 470. Overall, your profit margins are going to be higher with the 470 than the 570 because the 570 requires more memory. Or I'm sorry, more memory, more wattage uh, in order to produce at the same exact perspective as the 470 between the 570. Well, guys, hopefully this is a helpful update for you guys. Hopefully it is helpful over your overall when making a decision in a four gig card that you're looking to purchase here in the near future. Hopefully I'm not competing against you on offers up or Facebook marketplace to so go ahead and buy yourselves one of these cards. And if you guys did enjoy this video, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.